to do before Gibson. Okay, we're here. Bonjour! Hi, Cat Wars! Uh, here we are in Paris. Uh, yeah. I am at Cecile's apartment. I feel a bit like we're on a, um, some kind of TV show and I'm interviewing you. What do you want to know? Um, this is why I'm not a good interviewer. <laughs> um, I want to know how you feel about the Olympics, Cecile. I like nude people on yeah. the Olympics. Like, they're wearing clothes, but they're actually nude. They're wearing clothes, but they're wearing as little clothes as they could possibly wear while still being allowed on TV. Yeah, we are actually watching men dive over the computer right now. Yeah, we're just we're not focused on the camera at all. Hmm. I can't I can't help it. They wear such teeny tiny pants. And they're like and constantly them. touching themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like and then they get readjustments every yeah, minute. Yeah, and then they get in the little hot tub thing. Yeah, all they all get in the like hot tub high. together. The dream. They just enjoy being with equally naked people. Yeah. Woohoo! I wish I could do that. Okay. Um, <laughs> they can't see, see this. <laughs> um, here in the background are the fish which I fed mm -hmm. not too long ago. Um, one of the many sources of nature that I've interacted with since I arrived here. <laughs> um, I think Cecile took a photo. You, you took a photo, didn't you? What, with the butterfly? Oh, the butterfly? Yes. Yeah, we left Cecile's apartment yesterday um, in the morning and we were down the road, like not very far. And I was like, oh, look at that cute butterfly. It's yellow. It's so pretty. I love Paris. And then it just came and landed on me and like was like on my inner arm. And I was just <laughs> like, <"Woo!" laughs> And I thought like, Cecile gets a camera and I'm like, oh, well, it's bound to fly off before the camera actually takes the photo anyway, because that's just what would happen. And, and it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> and then once the photo opportunity was over, I was like, you can move on now. Like, and in a way, you're still hanging out on the bottom of my arm. Yeah. And in the end, I had to like poke it so it would go away. <laughs> <laughs> it really wanted to come with me. You're probably going to hell for poking a butterfly though. I didn't poke its wings though. I just like really, really slightly poked one of its legs so that it would be like, oh wait, danger. Um, then you were attacked by a flock of birds. Yep, birds and crows. I'm not a fan of crows. They're so scary. They're like ravens. Was it? No, was it ravens or was it crows? I have no idea. What's the difference? One of them's like bigger than the other, I think. But uh, ravens are like roughly 4,000% scarier than crows. So <laughs> did you know um, a flock of, oh, I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay, I'm not sure which is which. I think a flock of crows is called a murder, like a murder of crows. Oh my God. And um, a group of ravens is called something like and then kindness or something like that. Yeah. Animal facts. Mm. Um, so what did we do yesterday? Eiffel Tower? We went to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that was our first stop. It was awesome. Um, big fan of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, we went on the train to get there, the metro. And as we were going, we we're, were on one that went above ground and we're like on the way Cecile's like you're soon you're going to see the Eiffel Tower out of the window it's going to be really exciting I'm like this is awesome and then onto the um, metro stepped a man with an accordion just ready to soundtrack my time here just burst into all this accordion music it was perfect <laughs> so French it was like ridiculous I could have I don't know I can't think of a French film I don't really want to say I could have been the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It could have been Midnight in Paris. Well, definitely could have been Midnight in Paris. Um, so, yeah, we, we like come out. And I'm pretty sure my first view of Paris was when they were still... I mean, my first view of the Eiffel Tower was when they were still playing the accordion. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I remember thinking that I, it was, I felt very much like I was in a film. It was awesome. Um, 
the Inception so, Bridge. So, yeah, then we went to the Inception Bridge. We took a lot of photos. Um, I mean, you can see the top of his ass cheeks. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm interested. Um, Matthew Mitchell, okay. Australia. Australia is showing us its ass. Yeah. Um, Inception. Inception, yeah. We took a lot of photos, tried to get a good photo with um, the Eiffel Tower in the background. Um, Probably didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're going to see about that. It was so bright. It was really hot. Um, there wasn't any clouds. And it stayed like that all day. The, it didn't get dark till late. I don't know. And it was like just really warm all day. Um, consequently, I was very hot and um, we went to have food. Oh, we walked down the drain? Yes, we walked some along the, the river. river. Yeah. Um, looked at some boats we might like to live in. Um, I would like that. Yeah. Um, but you'd have to learn how to swim properly. Yeah. I'm not a great swimmer. My ass sinks. You, tr you cannot sink, you float. Yeah, but the rest of me floats except my ass. Well, that's fine then. Like, the rest <laughs> of your limbs are like, I'm going to hold yeah. you up. Yeah. Okay. Um, then. Oh, what so then we went and we had really nice food. Oh, yes, we did. So we're looking at these um, cafes near the Eiffel Tower in Trocadero. Mm hmm. Um, and obviously they're all like super expensive and stuff because we're in tourism heaven and um, we had to look at like five different restaurants I think because we were trying to find one that would serve me something without meat in um, which wasn't easy yeah <laughs> it wasn't but um, in the end we stopped at the final cafe the Cafe du Trocadero um, and it had a lot of nice salads. So my salad was meant to have ham in, but we just asked for it without. So we didn't really achieve a vegetarian option. But um, although there might, have, I think they probably had ravioli. To be fair, you don't like ravioli. ravioli. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They probably had ravioli, but I'm yeah. awkward. Yeah. Um. And then um, we left. To go to we ate delicious pudding there. Was pudding? What well, did, where is this chocolate I, I mousse? Dessert. Yeah, I dessert. just called dessert pudding. Okay, that works. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We that had was good. Delicious dessert. Yeah. Mm. 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 And then we went to the Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad um, you remember. Yeah. <laughs> Fairly. So much happened. You need to understand that yesterday we had like the longest day that was ever in existence. Yesterday had no edge. Yeah. It was ever expanding. No edge. And yeah, it had no edge. Um, it might have been combusting in on itself, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I think we were combusting in. We were definitely <laughs> combusting on ourselves. Um, yeah, so we went to Milan Rouge, had a look at that, took some photos, um, went to Starbucks. Because uh, it's stereotypical. Yes. Um, <laughs> and uh, woo. then we went to the Museum of Erotica, mm. which is called the Musée de l'Erotisme. Sounds better in French. Um, in was, which we saw a lot of dogs. Yeah. And a lot of vagina. <laughs> we saw a lot of everything. Yeah. Um, we watched porn together. I think that until you've seen a painting of someone <laughs> called <laughs> Pissing Woman, in which a woman is indeed pissing, and her <laughs> urine <laughs> is made of little diamante across <laughs> the picture, you just really haven't lived, to be honest. Um, if I was to buy a piece of art, that would probably be the one for me, I think. Really? No. <laughs> the top floor, there were like seven floors, and the top floor was um, very like BDSM sort of stuff, yeah. um, paintings. 
uh, some kind of artist that was obviously very into that, which is interesting to look at, but it was also like, ouch, mm-hmm. I don't want that, you know. Um, so uh, there was all sorts of stuff in there. It was very funny and also interesting. Um, yeah, I would recommend it for sure. Um, Crazy Owl Lady, which I'm, I'm sure you saw on Twitter. Um, <laughs> where... <laughs> that really traumatised Cecile. Yeah. Um, what happened after that? Where did we go then? We went to Mamaj. Oh, we walked. Yeah. We walked. We walked, but then we got into the little yeah. thing that went up the hill. Um, but then we walked. And then we walked. <laughs> and we walked. Oh, we went to mass together. Oh yeah, we went to mass because we would, we'd already been watched some porn together, and we thought we need to, um, you know, cleanse ourselves of our sins. So we went to mass, um, looked at some stuff, thought about the church for a bit. It was very pretty, um, and huge, and huge, yeah. Um, <laughs> He's just like, and this is painful. Yeah. Um, uh, we walked. Oh yeah, so we walked and we walked and we walked and we walked. We found a house that we could all live in together. Then we found out it was a house where they used to keep people um, with mental health problems and do experiments on them. We weren't very happy about that. No, no, um, no. Remember, he he decided. The guy decided that he didn't want to. Yeah, but it, he moved there and he was going to do experiments. He did experiments, but then he, but he, his experiments were nicer than they could have been because he didn't use electroshock therapy. Yeah, he just used he, like, like talking therapy. Yeah, just therapy. Like, okay, yeah, so like, it wasn't so bad after all. We were shocked at first, but then it turned out good. But then we found another place. What was the other? Was it a wind? Was it still a window? Yeah. Was it the place, the restaurant? Mm hmm. So we found this restaurant with a windmill on um, that was owned by like the last professional windmill person. Um, I, it was the last of four brothers who came yeah. from a family of windmill workers. Like for 200 years they'd worked in windmills. Mm-hmm. And who found him? What? Someone? Was it some kind of, of invaders? There was some kind of invasion. And they found this guy, and for whatever reason, they um, skinned him and strapped him to the um, what is it? The wing. The wing of the windmill. Pretty gross. Oh, good times. Yeah. So I think his son had made this restaurant. Um, he made this into a, a place where you can come and dance. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you're so much better with remembering because they did that. Uh, was it Renoir who did yes. that painting? Yes, they referenced a Renoir painting. Yeah. Uh, I'm just so bad at remembering what we did yesterday. Then we yeah. walked. Then we walked some more because <laughs> we weren't sure where we were, and then we finally found where we were, and we'd gone in a very big circle. So then we found uh, somewhere to eat, which was very nice. I had mushroom omelette, it was very good, some chips, Can't go wrong with that. some salad, we was eating a lot of salad and it's been really good. Uh, then we went to the Eiffel Tower, and that was great. We went to watch the Eiffel Tower get um, sparkly, yes. which we did film, so hopefully Got we'll be able yeah. to show you that. Uh, and today... Uh, we have watched, oh, because we like killed ourselves with walking yesterday, <laughs> um, our feet were dying. Um, I'm not kidding, yesterday I was limping. Yeah, it was especially <laughs> bad for Cecile. Um, and God knows why. I mean, I was wearing my sneakers. Yeah, we walked a lot though. Um, and so today we're having a bit more of a lazy day. Um, we've watched the Glee 3D concert movie in 2D, which was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, we did sing and clap and Yeah, cheer. there was a lot of sing-along. Um, there were some feels to be had. 
I had a lot of feels about how much I love Chris Colfer. <laughs> like, <laughs> through the entire movie. Yeah. <laughs> Megan knows. <laughs> Megan was there with me at the show and I was just like, Chris Colfer! I just love him. Except you could see him in close-up here. Yeah, exactly. And marvel at his hair. <sighs> yeah. So we did some of that. And then we just watched Midnight in Paris, which was really awesome. Um, and that we're gonna go and see some flights. We're going to the Montana's Tower. Yeah, Mon Mon which is where? Montana? Yeah. Some tower. <laughs> Looks very tall. We're going to the tall place <laughs> to look upon the city. Yes. We're going to have our sandwiches up there so we can take pictures by day and by night mm -hmm. and hopefully see the Eiffel Tower sparkle again. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be glorious. I'm probably going to propose to Rachel again. This is this is true. Cecile has already proposed to me um, once. I didn't add to her because I thought, you know, you can't you can't just give it up straight away. You gotta really keep people hanging. Um, but I mean I laid on the ground for you. Yeah. I was on she my was, belly. She was trying to get the best picture of me in front of the Eiffel Tower, which Cecile is probably the best person to show anyone around Paris. <laughs> she will take you there and she will do whatever she can for you to make sure you get the 100% Paris experience. Well, you know, it's made us well. It was pretty awesome. But then she kind of took advantage of that by proposing to me while she was doing it. Oh, I'm sorry for being romantic. Uh, I won't well, do it again. It was a bit cliche. Um, you could have proposed to me in the museum of erotica. I didn't want you to think I was cheap. Well, I mean, had I known, I would have proposed to you in you front can, of the enormous of dildo. <laughs> <laughs> because somewhere in the museum of erotica, Cecile and I lost any sort of perception of what is and isn't. Um, uh, what? I don't know. I'm French. <laughs> don't ask me. What's proper? Appropriate. Thank you. Appropriate. <laughs> yeah, we lost any kind of idea of what isn't isn't appropriate. I think it was about the time when you saw the dick in a box. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but there was a legitimate dick in a box. Like it was like a jack in a box, but a dick in a box. <laughs> Just like Justin Timberlake sang about, like, <laughs> you, hey girl, it's my dick in a box. Like, you could, it, there was a spring oh and everything. God. I yeah. mean, how. <laughs> dick in a box. It was, yeah. It was the perfect gift, obviously. This is 18 minutes long already. I know. We're just going to have to know, leave the shit out yeah. of this and then make a or make more random section. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah. we can just say anything we want. Yeah. Like, my face is um, really, really wide compared to yours. Why is that? Uh, because you're in the sunlight. Damn it. I thought I was doing something good by being in the sunlight. But I'm just looking like a vampire now. Like the mini wobbler when he goes like <laughs> dirty little tricks. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not even gonna talk about that. What else? <laughs> um, um, is it the dick in a box? No, I was thinking about Chris Gopher Diddly Toys. <laughs> and the Tower of Dick. <laughs> No. I mean, if you're going to have a souvenir, might as well be a deadly Chris Colfo. I think that is all I have to say. Yeah. Apart from, we went to the supermarket and there was a crap load of cheese. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. I don't want to get, like, stereotypical here, but... These people love cheese. So do you. I do enjoy cheese a lot, especially not having meat. 
is important. We should just yeah. end this because this is becoming just a conversation. Yeah.